Axis, and I had a pretty productive day today. I spent most of it in the pantry. I was insulating up the ceiling with uh, two inches of rigid urethane foam, the same stuff that we use for the rest of the house. Cut it up, got it up in there, spray foamed around the edges. I hope and I think that's going to make a big difference in terms of how much energy it takes to keep that place cool. So I'm pretty happy about that. I'm also reorganizing the pantry at this point because uh, you know I didn't like the way it was laid out. It was kind of like 90% done, and we're doing the last of it now. Uh, the other thing I'm about to be able to finish today is this uh, chimney stack here. Uh, I just got this 18 inch section delivered about five minutes ago from UPS and I'm going to put it together and what, you know these are five minute video clips uh, per this 360 video's limitations. We'll see how much you guys get to see but uh, you know I'll try to get as much of it in as I can but I do want to make sure I get in where this thing came from. A couple of people had asked uh, where I got this stove. The company, I found this inside of it, they have literature. Uh, the company, company is Cylinder Stoves. They're in Chester, Utah, and they have a website, cylinderstoves.com, and I'm even gonna give you the phone number, 800-586-3829. So that's 800-586-3829. So if you want to see if you can get your own, again, every time I tried to grab this, they were always like, you know, they had too many orders and they, they could barely keep up as it was, but that's where I got it and, uh, you know, we'll be uh, seeing how well it goes. Uh, so what I have to do here, I got this 18 inch section, it's replacing the two foot section that I had in there that was combined with this adapter. These are double wall six inch pipes uh, and this adapter section has this void in here and that allows it to slide up and down on here. So I'm going to just kind of Line this guy up. I'm putting the seam in the back, uh, you know, so it's you know more cosmetic that way. And I'm having it so the two seams of these guys don't exactly line up. Okay, there we go. So these are going one inside the other. I'm trying to do this so I don't scuff it up because you, you make it short and then you re-extend it. So let's see, I'm gonna go more. I think I needed this thing to be 20, 24 inches, I believe. All right, let's see. Okay, so that's gonna work. So what we're doing here is, I wanna line those things up. Okay, yeah, that'll work. Okay, I'm gonna line up these holes here with the holes that were already screwed in on the adapter there. All right, come on, there we go. All right, this ain't gonna fit in in the five minutes. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. I'm gonna uh, sink these screws to attach this then slide this up and engage it in there. So we'll see how much we get to uh, see. First off, I don't need the drill bit. What I need is some screws. And uh, a lot of the, well, actually these are not, but many uh, many of these uh, screws we're using are self-tapping screws. So you don't really need the drill bit, but I find that the drill bit is a little cleaner. So uh, I like to do that. When I'm putting these in, I'm being really careful to not overdrive them because they'll just tear open the, uh, the sheet metal here and then they won't be snug anymore. Okay, I, I usually put in three screws, you know, at third, thirds of a way around distance. Right, let's see, last one here. The reason I'm securing this first is because when I extend this collar up, I don't want this thing to, you know, lose registration. So this is secured right here. Last thing to do is slide this up. I, I wanted to mention, I have this uh, tied, this top section is tied up there, you can see the straps, and the way I, those are just kind of like tie down straps you used to like hold something on top of your car. The way I got them to grab this is I took an oven mitt that was, uh, had kind of a silicone uh, coating on it, I put that, uh, well Amber held it onto the stove and then I, I ran a strap around it and the silicone allowed it to kind of grab. Now I've got some uh, previously uh, drilled holes in this adapter section, I'm going to see if I can Line those up with the holes that are in this, yep, yeah, this top pipe. Okay, I'm feeling like I almost need a stepping stool. But, you know, there just ain't no time for that with these five minute run times on these 360 videos. Okay, so I'm gonna put that here. Okay, that one kind of just spun. I don't know about that. I'm not super happy about that. Let's see, other one. Okay, that one locked in pretty well. Okay, I'm gonna put this one in here, and then there are a couple screw points in here, and I do want to secure those. I mean, it's all kind of together at this point, but I'm gonna secure these, because once I undo that strap, um, if, uh, if this isn't supported here, the whole thing could just kind of...